So as the new season's right around the corner, I think it's about time that we put FIFA to the test. Let's go. Back to another video on the channel today. We're going to be putting FIFA 21 to the test and we're going to be simulating the next championship season. Now, I've made the majority of transfers which have gone through already for all the sides, and it's always an interesting video to do at the start of each season to see how strong FIFA rates each team currently going into next season. Now, we did do this video last year, and it's fair to say that FIFA came up with some interesting results. The three teams that they predicted to be relegated last season from the championship were Coventry, Wickham and Luton. Only one of those sides went down in the end, that of course being Wickham. And for promotion, they backed Bournemouth, Norwich and Nottingham Forest. So only one of those sides were promoted in the end. So two out of six, they got correct in terms of promotion and relegation. Let's see if they can be a bit more accurate this time round. As always though, if you do come to enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If we could hit 350, that would be massively appreciated. Also, check out the Patreon link that down below. We've got loads going on there at the moment. If you've not seen yesterday's video when we launched our new fantasy football league, go and check that out. We're also going to be doing the Patreon exclusive one, both for the Championship and Premier League fantasy football, as well as our Patreon prediction league next year. So loads to get involved with over there. But without any further ado, let's hop over to Facebook. And so this is the championship table heading into the new season. So we've transferred in all the new clubs that have obviously come up from League One and gone down from the Premier League. And we're going to be simulating a full season and putting FIFA to the test to see how accurate they can be this time around. Surely they can do better than two out of six that they got last time. We're also going to be looking into League One in terms of who's going up in that league. I'm interested to see who the top scorers in the championship are going to be as well in terms of who FIFA is backing for the Golden Boot. But without any further ado, let's simulate this season and I'll see you at the end of it. And so here we go, the simulation has now finished and I'm quite intrigued to see who FIFA has both going up and going down. Will it be the obvious choice of having sort of all three of the newly relegated teams being promoted and the same for the newly promoted ones being relegated? Let's go ahead and find out. So coming in and winning the league with 101 points is AFC Bournemouth. Scott Parker's clearly got them playing on this career mode save. Absolutely crazy stuff there. And then the race for second looked pretty intense between Sheffield United and Fulham. Going down to goal difference in the end. One goal being the difference between between Sheffield United and Fulham, both finishing on 91 points. Sheffield United with a goal difference of 28, Fulham with 27, so Fulham will go into the playoffs. Uh, Nottingham Forest finished fourth, that's quite the improvement from them under Chris Hewton. West Brom in fifth, so uh, not automatic, which I'm sure West Brom fans will be hoping for this season, but they do finish inside the top six. And then probably the most surprising shout so far is Bristol City, who make it in sixth place. I think that Nigel Pearson's got Quite a bit of work to be doing sort of with that squad over this summer, you know, in pre-season going into next season because of how sort of badly they finished last season, really. But, uh, I mean, we always get at least one surprising team in there, so maybe that's Bristol City coming in here. But we looked at the uh, promotion and relegation odds a few weeks ago, and Bristol City definitely more favourable at the moment for relegation odds than they are promotion. Seventh place, we have Stoke City, which is an improvement on last time round. Birmingham improved quite significantly as they finish eighth. We'll go down the table now one by one. So Middlesbrough in ninth, having a fairly steady season. I think that Borough fans will be hopeful to be in and around the top six going into next season. I think it's definitely sort of open at the moment. So certainly two of the top six places are. Millwall in 10th, pretty steady from them. They'll also be a team who's sort of hopeful to be going on and getting into those top 10. But as we've seen it now, Bristol City is probably like the most surprising team in there, but even that's maybe not like completely outlandish if they do manage to turn around their form. It's not been the worst shout in the world for a top 10, I don't feel like. Forest and Bristol City are a bit um, of the surprising shouts. QPR in 11th, I feel like a lot of people at this point in time especially are fancying QPR to be the dark horses going into next season. I myself I'm, you know, fancying them a little bit just after how well they did uh, towards the tail end of last season. They've already invested quite well into that squad as well. So, keep your one to watch, but FIFA's got them finishing in 11th. 12th place, Blackburn Rovers, probably where we expect them to be around about this stage. Obviously, the Adam Armstrong uh, saga is still up in the air, but 12th for Blackburn's not unrealistic, I'd say. 
13th for Huddersfield is a decent finish, given last season and how they were sort of dragged into a relegation battle. Carlos Corbran's got quite a bit of restructuring to do with that team. There's already been quite a few more additions coming in, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they manage to sort of mould them all into this philosophy. Luton in 14th, not a bad season for them, although they'll be hoping to kick on from their finish last time round. But so far, it's not been the worst shout in the world. I think the last time prediction video was a lot more unpredictable than this one. 15th Coventry, not bad, it's an improvement on last year. It is just dawning on me now though that we got to 15th and we've still not seen Preston. If Preston end up going down in this save, I'll be absolutely gutted. 16th place, okay yeah, completely forgot we've not seen Swansea so far. So that is a massive fall off there that FIFA is predicting for Swansea going into next season. Now, Swansea still have quite a bit of work to be doing with that squad. Obviously they no longer have Andre Ayew, they no longer have the Lonies from last season, you know the Freddie Woodman the Mark Wahey, so all of them have been taken away from the Swansea squad on this save and they're you know, likely to go out at least into the loan market um, and look to replace those players. So as the squad is right now, FIFA has Swansea 16th in the table, but uh, you certainly wouldn't back against Swansea doing a bit of business later on into the window. 17th place, we have Peterborough, so the first of the newly promoted clubs. So FIFA don't have all three of those clubs going down, which is quite interesting. And they do have Peterborough as the best performing out of those three sides. Uh, they've done decent for goal scoring, 58 goals. They have conceded a lot. I think that's the most we've seen so far with 72. That's probably what we're expecting from Peterborough coming into next season to be quite an entertaining side. 18th place, okay, so at least we've not gone down. We do have my side, Preston North End. Not the greatest of finishes for us. Uh, this would be our lowest place finish since we've come back up to the championship if we were to finish 18th, obviously. This is going to be Frankie McAvoy's first like full season in charge, so uh, he's got a point to prove. I'd be disappointed, though, if North End were finishing 18th. I don't really have sort of expectations or challenging for the top six going into next season, but... I want to be, you know, comfortably in the table. I don't want to be getting dragged into anything. Um, so, yeah, 18th, maybe a little bit low for us. 19th place, we then have Derby County, who are, as of recording, probably the favourites to go down at the moment. Um, there's still a bit of uncertainty about their financial situation, obviously, with the players that they have on trial at the moment. You know, a lot of them being sort of like 30 and above. It's experience that's coming into what is already a, a fairly youthful squad, but Rooney's got a really tough job in his hands here. Um, you know, Tom Lawrence has just been named captain there. They're down to the bare bones of that squad at the moment. Um, so depending on what they do between now and the end of the window, Derby will be an interesting one, but FIFA does have faith in them to survive. They got Derby in 19th, 20th place, and an absolutely massive fall off. We've then got Cardiff City, obviously, no longer got Harry Wilson in there, um, which has obviously had an effect on this, but that is a, a huge fall off there. You can't imagine that Mick McCarthy would last much of this season if Cardiff were in around 20th in the league table. 21st, we then have Barnsley, another massive fall off for Barnsley. Fresh after making the top six, they drag back down into a relegation battle now. Barnsley have a few unknowns coming into this season with a new manager coming in. Uh, a few big departures so far. Obviously, Daryl DK is no longer there. They've lost their captain, Alex Moe, as well. So, uh, Barnsley still have a little bit of work to be doing in the transfer window. But 21st to be a huge drop-off from last season. Into the relegation places we then go, and it's Hull City who don't manage to avoid the drop. They finish on 42 points, but that's not enough to keep them up finishing in 22nd. 23rd, we then have Reading, another big call from FIFA here, which would be a huge drop off from last season. Now, Reading are always a club who's either involved in drama at the bottom of the table or the top of the table. There never really seems to be much of an in-between at Reading. Um, obviously, they just lost Michael Elise, which is obviously a blow going into next season, but uh, 23rd would be an absolute disaster of a season. And uh, coming in at the bottom of the table, finishing on just 32 points. FIFA has Blackpool as the weakest team in the championship at this point in time. 32 points isn't the greatest. They do finish as the lowest scoring team as well with only 36 goals. So that is the table that FIFA is predicting going into next season. So the bottom three being Blackpool, Reading and Hull. Some brave shouts in there. I don't necessarily agree with all of them. And then the top six being Bristol City, West Brom, Nottingham Forest, Fulham, Sheffield United and AFC Bournemouth. Let's now go ahead and check into the playoffs 
and see who's FIFA predicting to win these. So it's Fulham going up through the playoffs. They love a playoff win, don't they, Fulham? What I'm also interested to look into, though, is the top scorer. So FIFA is backing it to be Moussa of Sheffield United, who goes ahead and bags 28 goals. I mean, if they get Moussa, like, fully up, fit and firing for next season in the championship, then, you know, I wouldn't rule it out. You know, he certainly had his moments um, in his first season there, didn't he? Next up, we then have Dan Juma finishing on 22 goals. So that's if Dan Juma does end up staying at Bournemouth, but he's had a very strong season. Vyman then comes in with 19. We then got Carvalho. Ben Brereton is up there with 18 goals for Blackburn. That'll be a terrific season for him. Top assisters in the Championship. Sander Burge is up there for Sheffield United. Obviously, provided he stays, he's been linked away to quite a few teams at the moment. Uh, Bella Billing. Brereton, once again, is up there. FIFA's is really back in Ben Burton to have a top season for Blackburn next time round. Clean sheets, it's Samba who wins it with 22 clean sheets next season. And before we do wrap this up, let's go ahead and look at who are the promoted teams coming up to the championship from League One. So it's Rotherham and Sheffield Wednesday who FIFA's backing for promotion. League One is going to be so fascinating next season. There's so many big hitters in that league now. But guys, there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's video. So those are FIFA's predictions going into next season. They're back in Bournemouth and Sheffield United for the top two, and then Fulham for the playoffs. Do you agree with FIFA's selections? Let me know about them down below. As always, if you think you're going to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for a bit of regular championship content. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.